Hello everyone, welcome to Messy Jess channel. My name is Jess and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint clouds like a pro. Let's get started. So first step is choose your color palette. Now I have a couple of examples here. These are not the only color palettes you can choose from, but I know these are the most popular I see on social media as well as I work with these palettes before. So I know they work for sure. For this video, we're gonna work with this palette right here. Before you paint the cloud, you gotta paint the sky first. That is a very important step because the sky is gonna act as the background and make your cloud pop out even more, make your cloud look better. So the way we choose color for the sky is whatever the color you decide to go with for your cloud, you're gonna use the same color for the sky, but it's gonna be a little bit lighter and a lot less saturated. So I'm gonna have here the light blue and the yellow for the background. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of texture to the sky. So I'm gonna go with a texture brush and just kind of paint over with blue color on top of this background here. You don't have to overdo it or spend too much time on this step because a lot of it gonna be covered by the clouds anyway. So don't spend too much time on it. Next step is painting out clouds. So the way I do it is I go from the darkest color to the brightest. So let's start with our very dark blue here and start creating the shape for the clouds. Make sure you create the shape look as natural and as random as possible. If you are not sure how to do that, look at photos reference or other artists reference or you can just use my example right here. The trick to build the shape of the clouds is adjust the size of your brush. So I have the big brush for these big area and I also make the brush a lot smaller for these smaller details like the ones right here. Make sure you build it up slowly. Take your time. This step is very important. So make sure you are happy with the shape before moving on to the next step. Right here, I use the cloud brush from Frankentoon Brush Pack and it does help me create the shape a lot faster. However, you can accomplish this look by a round brush as well. It's just gonna take you a little longer. Now once you're happy with the shape, make sure you lock it in. So next step, we're gonna create a clipping mask to this cloud layer. Whatever we paint next is gonna stay inside of this shape. For those of you who don't know what a clipping mask layer is, basically it's a layer that help you paint inside of this cloud layer. Just like how when you buy a coloring book and you try to color inside the light and not outside of it, basically, in digital art, this layer help you do the same thing and you never have to worry about painting outside the line. So we're gonna go with the yellow color here for the highlight of the cloud and make sure you apply the same tricks that we use to create the clouds. Make sure you adjust your brush. So bigger brush for bigger area and then reduce the brush size for these small details.
okay the last final step is add the extra highlight on top of the clown and this is sort of like the wrinkle on top of your cake so make sure you don't overdo it just do it very lightly on the edge of the clown and in this painting because the light toward the sun is on the right side so i'll make sure i have the highlight more on the right side of the painting and not so much on the left side The painting almost finished. I'm just gonna go in and add a little more detail to the painting and we'll check back with you shortly. And that is how you paint the clouds like a pro. I hope you like the video and if you do, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!